may the peace and tranquility of one lord be upon all of us hi students it's faisal have a good day today we are going to see some problems on edexcel international cgsc 9 to 1 grade students mathematics a students book 1 in this book we are going to solve exercise 1 problem number 7 to 10 we already made a video on the problem number 1 to 6 i will give you the link on the description if you want to see that you can click the description link and you can go to the video okay now we are going to solve the problems on 7 to 10 okay the first problem deals with that copy and complete this table giving fractions in their lowest form so here we are going to make this fraction into the decimal form in the lowest decimal form okay so here we are having 4 by 5 so we have to convert it as a decimal form so to convert this 4 by 5 to the decimal form we can use the long division method okay we can use the long division method that is i am going to use the long division method that is i am going to divide 4 by 5 okay so i cannot divide 4 by 5 because 5 is the largest one so i cannot divide 4 by 5 so i am putting one zero with dot so by putting the dot i can add one more zero to here so now i, I have to divide this 40 i have to consider this as 40 uh, we have to divide this 40 with respect to the 5 okay now the 40 is 8 times on the fifth table 8 fives are 40 so we can put 40 here and if you are subtracting this 2 we can get the remainder as 0 so the frac decimal part of 4 by 5 is 0 0.8 okay similarly here we are going to divide 3 by 8 okay so that is we are going to divide 3 by 8 but we don't have 3 on the 8th table so i am i am putting one zero dot in the quotient space then we can add one more zero to here so now it will become 30 so we can divide 30 with respect to 8 so we have to divide 30 with respect to 8 by the way in the 8th table we can get 3 8s are 24 by subtracting this 30 and 24 we can get 6 as the remainder now we can add one more zero because we have already put one dot at the in the quotient so we can add one more zero because 6 cannot be divided by 8 6 cannot be divided by 8 so i am adding one more zero at here okay so now we have to divide 60 by 8 in the eighth table we have 7 8s or 56 7 8s or 56 by subtracting these two we can get the remainder as 4 now we can add one more zero because we cannot divide 4 with respect to 8 so we can add one more zero at here so now 40 we know that 8 5s are 40 now the remainder is 0 that's why the decimal part of the fraction 3 by 8 is 0 0.375 the quotient value is the decimal part okay next one we are having we have to convert this decimal into the fraction like this so they are giving 0 0.75 okay so to convert this 0 0.75 here we are having two decimals after the dot so if you are having two decimals after the dot we have to divide the whole number 75 we can make it as 75 divided by 100 that is the number with two zeros we are having two decimals after the point we are having two numbers after the point that's why we go to divide a number with two uh, two zeros so that it can be converted as 75 by 100 so 0 0.75 fraction part is 75 by 100 so by simplifying this we can cut both the terms by with uh, by the table 5 so 1 5 are 5 remaining 2 25 5 5 are 25 and 25 are 100 25 is 100 so one more time we can divide it with respect to 5 so 3 5s are 50 15 4 5s are 20 so the final result is 3 by 4 okay similarly here we are having 0 0.2 that is after the dot we are having one decimal one number that's why we have to divide a number with one zero okay that is it can be written as 2 by 10 2 by 10 now divide the tab both the terms with respect to the second table 1 2s are 2 5 2s are 10 is the simplest form that's why 0.2 the decimal part has the fractional value 1 by 5 we can conclude this like this okay if this video is helpful to you subscribe my channel 
then share with your friends thank you thanks for watching